Well, the day has arrived, finally. Finally, the day's arrived. We are releasing the new Paisley Drive, as in Brad Paisley, Deluxe. Let's look at it. All right, we have the new Paisley Drive Deluxe. Now, everyone loves unboxing videos. I know I do. So let's unbox this thing. So we got here. Let's be gentle with it because it's a pedal. So it's wrapped in bubble wrap. That's good. It's got some stickers, manuals, more stickers, some other stuff. And let's see what we got on the back. In the back, rather. You have your bag that you could use for guitar picks. And then we have the Paisley Drive Deluxe. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why two Paisley Drives? Let's jump into that because I think it's a fascinating story. See, the thing is, Brad Paisley has been using this pedal called the Underdog for a long time. Now, the Underdog was a pedal was based on a Nobles ODR S circuit, I believe. Uh, it's got the three band EQ on it and uh, did some tips and tricks to it. Uh, just a little th few things here and there to kind of make it sound better to my ears. Brad loved it. Brad loved it, and he said, um, I just used it for years. He wanted me to re-release it, but the thing is, I actually made that pedal for a friend who was suffering from cancer, gave all the money to her to basically pay for a cancer treatment, because here in America, our, it's, this, our medical industry's messed up. Anyways, so uh, I, paid, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to re-release it, because it was just too close to me. It, was, it meant too much to me. For, I, that pedal had to be... Uh, the underdog had to be for that specific purpose, but I said, you know what I can do, Brad? I can put your Paisley Drive circuit, your regular Paisley Drive, and the underdog circuit all in one. I can make it so you can go into, you know, from the underdog to the Paisley Drive, or from the Paisley Drive to the underdog, or put it in the middle. This is just like the dual fusion circuit, by the way. Put it in the middle. It's got four outputs, and you can use each one individually like you would use with your, like a, like a looper or anything like that any sort of switcher. So very handy, very fun to play with. Speaking of playing with, uh, let's play through this thing, get some tones out of it. First of all, let's go through a Vox uh, AC-15 since that's a little more similar to what Brad's gonna be playing through. All right, so the Paisley Deluxe, or the Paisley Dog as Brad would call it, as has called it calls it. Okay, so what we have is this side is one pedal. This would be the underdog side. This side would be the typical Paisley Drive side. Now on this side you do have a bass, mids, treble, volume, and a gain. On the left side, channel 2, which is the regular Paisley Drive side, you have level, tone, gain. Now switches. You have on the side here this is a little voicing switch. It's actually going to give it a little bit more of a mid scoop sound, a little bit more high. So works really well with darker amps. Uh, with brighter amps, maybe not so much, but your mileage may vary. On over here on the uh, right side, you'll see a fat switch, and this fat switch is actually going to basically make it fatter. So it's going to, be, going to give it a little bit more gain, uh, a little bit more presence in the slight mid bump before the gain, so basically just it just tightens it up a little bit. Uh, the switch here, the um, channel switching switch, as it may be, uh, I've explained this on like the dual fusion videos before, but right now I have it set going into two, or so I'm going into channel two, out channel one. Now if I want to go the opposite, I would move the switch, I would put my input into channel one, put my output into channel two, yes, physically moving them, and I'll explain why, and I would have to move the toggle switch over to channel one to two. Now, if I want it separate, that means two totally independent pedals. If you have a switcher of some sort, then you would definitely use it. Um, you just put the switch in the middle, channel one, um, channel one in, channel one out, channel two in, channel two out. I know some people have asked us, how come we don't make this switch where you wouldn't have to move any cables? The answer to that is in order to get everything separate, there'd have to be 
some re relays in there or some other transistors doing some switching or some sort of non-true bypass version of, of making that happen. And it kind of made the sound suck to do it that way. So uh, without increasing the price a bunch using a bunch of relays, that this is the way it had to be in order to get all three different functions. Now I'll play a little bit, um, a little bit of music through this thing. Playing my, this is my uh, Fender Telecaster, of course. My Mexican Telecaster, it's got a bender in it. Uh, I'm going through a Vox AC15. I think there's a greenback in that one. I forget, I have to look. But I think it's a greenback. Um, yeah, so that's it. My basic sound without any pedals on. Now, let me kick the underdog channel in first. Now, it will get cleaner, of course. get more dirty. Now, let's check out this fat switch. So as you can see, it just kind of tightens everything up a little bit, uh, gives a little bit more high-end presence just because of the way it's boosting the gain right there. And uh, active bass, mids, and treble on this one. Uh, like I said, it's based off that Noble's ODRS circuit, I believe is which one it is, and uh, super, super cool circuit. Let me run through the EQ controls real quick. So tons and tons and tons of EQ variation with this type of EQ. Very cool pedal. Now on to the standard Paisley drive circuit. Now let's take a, that had the voicing switch in. Let's take the voicing switch out. So that's actually how Brad's gonna use it. He uses it with it out, so it has a little bit more of a mid bump with it in. Like I said, it's gonna scoop it a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. Now, when we stack them together, we get a ton of gain. So let's do that.
with that said, you may be wondering how Brad uses this. Um, pretty much, he's going to use the the right side with with uh, quite a bit more gain. So some of the songs are pretty clean. Some stuff you'll hear quite a bit of gain in a solo section. A lot of times, that's the underdog he's kicking on. Another thing would be like if you're familiar with the songs, camouflage I believe was used with the underdog song. Uh, I'm sorry, with the underdog pedal. So it was like. All right, so you heard the Paisley Drive Deluxe through the AC15. Now let's run it through a deluxe reverb on the normal channel. And uh, I think I have a WGS ET65 speaker in this one. Uh, my clean tone. to the channel two. All right, so that is on the normal channel. So as you can see, it's not just a country player. If you've watched any of the other videos on YouTube, you've seen all kinds of people do like the Brad Paisley stuff, even like Jim Lil, who literally recreated an entire uh, Brad Paisley song um, using this pedal, which is really cool, so make sure you check that out. Uh, Luke Gallagher's another one who did some fantastic stuff, uh, really just nailing Brad Paisley's tone uh, with this pedal. I wanted to kind of just kind of run over the basics of it, what I was thinking when I designed it, that sort of thing and run through a couple different amps so you can see what it would sound like through something besides a Vox. All right, and speaking of Luke Gallagher, who did a fantastic uh, job with this pedal, make sure you check out his channel. In fact, I'm gonna actually put some of his video in here so you can check it out, what he did. It's fantastic. You gotta love it. So check it out right now. <laughs> So, I hope you uh, hope you liked the video. Hope you kind of got some different tones of what you've seen with some other YouTube videos. There's been a ton of guys do some really, really cool stuff. Uh, basically just nailing the Paisley stuff. But it's not just a country pedal. It does all kinds of things. I actually like it for more rock-based stuff, if you couldn't tell. That's just my personal thing with it. I like it. I dig it. Sounds good. Um, if you have any comments or questions, make sure you comment below. This pedal is available 2017 on Halloween. Uh, it'd be October 31st, which means you're probably watching this after that, which means that it's probably already available. So go to wamplapedals.com. You can check it out there. You can go on our site there. It'll tell you all the different retailers that are carrying this pedal. Um, if, you're, if your particular favorite retailer is carrying our stuff, there's a good chance they have this pedal. So ask them about it. If they don't carry it, ask them to carry it. So I really appreciate that. Hope you guys like this video. We'll see you next week with a new one. See you later.